Hey everybody, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna, well, we're gonna finish the, the final army that's currently out um, for Epic Battles Waterloo. We did uh, a French sprue, which we got from uh, Wargames Illustrated. We did a British sprue that we got from Wargames Illustrated. We actually did um, an unboxing of the demo set that we got from Wargames, from uh, Wallet Games. Uh, but we didn't do the Prussians yet. I received, um, I received my uh, Prussian sprue from issue 414. Um, and uh, it well it took me forever, almost a year. It, this this is this issue. June twenty twenty two, oh man, almost almost a year, almost a year to get it going. But um, I finally got it done. Um, and I'm really I I, I really like the look. Again, um, if you did not know, each of the sprues are color coded, so you can actually like use this figures without actually painting it because the Prussians come in a black sprue. So what we're going to do first, we're going to have a look at this proof. So, um, so let's look at this proof. Yeah, if we look at this proof, we see we've got some artillery here. Uh, we have some infantry. Um, we have some, a standard bearer. Um, then we have these guys. Now these guys, I have no idea I, I, what they are. I've never painted any... Uh, Prussians before, so I actually had to go on uh, Facebook and ask the uh, Epic, uh, well, Wallet Games Epic Waterloo group. If you, if you don't know, they, they exist, they do. So, you know, if you have Facebook, go and have a look and maybe ask them. You know, they, they're there to help you out. In fact, what they did was they actually help me out, uh, suggesting uh, the color for, the, I think they're called the Schutzen, the Jaegers. Um, yeah, because what hap what it is is when you actually get this uh, this this uh, WI Wargames Illustrated and you flip inside, the first thing you gotta notice is that um, while it does show um, while it does show uh, pretty much the uh, infantry, as you can see here, infantry. They also show the uh, landwehr. So this 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 painting schemes for the infantry. There's this painting for the landwehr. But there's no painting scheme for the uh, the uh, Schutzen. Um, I tried looking. I tried looking online. It's a bit confusing. So again, I always look at this from the uh, newbie because you know newbies, like I said, and I always say are very very important. So information that's easy to them, easy for them, um, and to get information on the Schutzen was not easy at all. In fact, the ones the the links that I did get, I uh, had a lot of a uh, lot of. Um, text you know i wanted something that's more you know graphic maybe a color plate a la osprey that way i can actually show it to to, to the kids who are, want to paint this army but what's kind of cool is that it what's kind of cool is in this book they actually have um yeah how, how to paint paint the uh, prussian officer ossifer um i thought this was nice um yeah very detailed very very detailed there you go i wish i wish they actually um expanded the uh the painting guide section so there was actually perhaps you know uh infantry reserves landwehr shits and whatever whatever you're giving away for for a, a freebie for one of these i i do recommend you know if, if possible um having well color plates or perhaps a, a painting guide because you know Na the Napoleonic war is not exactly the most easiest to get into uh, I know that for a fact because many many years ago it caused me tremendous amount of confusion and for me to teach somebody new you know I've got to get the facts right because 10 years down the line you're going to come back at me and go like oh you got this wrong <laughs> I don't want that so yeah um, what we're going to do next is I'm going to just show you uh, the figures that I painted um, these this figures actually took about uh, they took longer than usual. Actually, I I brought out the uh, the sprue, I, I look at it. I gave it I gave it a coat uh, of um, of grey, and then I think I uh, I forgot about them, um, and only like a recently I just started painting them. The um, the uh, choices of color um, are, are mine, pretty much mine, um, and because of that I. Uh, 
I chose to go for a, a, a very dark blue, a dark purple. It looks a bit purpley. It's deep blue. I'll be with this deep blue. Um, and for uh, the Jaegers or the and I went for, a, I think it was a angel green, I think, one of the darker greens. Yeah, so here's, a, here's what they look like, fully painted. I must just I must say though that while doing these figures, they are small, and it was it was beneficial to have one of those really really small brushes. Um, Army Painter actually sells these small brushes. They actually they have um, the uh, uh, insane detail. They got psycho and stuff like that. And the one I found out myself I found myself actually doing is actually dotting and and using small strokes for for these figures. Um, as long as they look great from a distance. Uh, I was, I was happy with it as for the uh the webbing uh the webbing was oh my god it was extremely difficult to get to get clean and neat but um yeah doing it patiently you know you you'll be rewarded i mean don't don't rush through miniatures like this just you know go through them um of course uh i took a little bit uh extra time on these ones because i want to put them on video and um i want them to look you know good for a showcase um apart from that i hope you uh Hope you like the uh, the color scheme I went with. I hope you like the figures I painted. Um, very quickly though, I'm kind of waiting for what other armies going to come out. Will, will it be the Austrians? Will it be um, I don't know like Russians? Um, so as they as they come out, um, uh, I'll be getting the getting the the magazines and printing and uh, painting them again. I've said this before. I'll say this again. In fact, I'll say this almost every video that I can. The best way to introduce a new game or new range of figures just to give them away for free um, in a magazine, whether it be uh, War Games Illustrated or Strategy Tactics, whichever whichever magazine um, is out there. If you are a, a miniature a maker, especially in plastic, I, I do recommend giving, giving a, a sample sprue away for free just as a taster because this actually helps. It helps in so many ways. Uh, here at the store, we have people just picking up the magazine, you know, just to see, just to get the free, the free stuff. Um, and that it it works on works on two levels. The uh, painter gets to look at the uh, gets a magazine that you can actually learn flip to and perhaps get into history a little bit more. And secondly, um, you know, you got some free figures to paint to try out new to try out new techniques and perhaps um, um, you know, um, yeah, new techniques. I'm I'm glad that War Games Illustrated and uh, Warlock Games are, are doing sort of like a an ongoing collaboration. So every so often they've got they got something something uh something new like a when a uh, like a new uh, sprue they they, they 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 put it in, and I've actually got all of these uh free free sprues which, well, I will actually feature and and uh, feature when they are, when they're out. So yeah, even like for me, uh, it's it's a great thing to. Get a magazine get some free figures and for me to showcase them to you because now whenever i do a video i've got like one sprue and i can just give you one sprue sample and when you when you look at it or when, I, when you see the showcase perhaps you might be you know maybe enticed maybe interested to start an army i don't know um yeah that's pretty much it i just want to say a big thank you to the, to the folks on uh, the uh, epic epic waterloo um they call it epic battles now, Facebook page because uh, they've been great help. Whenever I'm looking for inspiration for like a, for like color schemes, I I go there and like I'll scroll. Um, at the moment, that's that's my my online resource for uh, pictures of epic battles. So if you, if you if you want, head on over there and like have a look see. I'm not so sure, uh, how much more epic battles I'll be doing, um. I'm slowly moving through the uh, epic battles demo that I'm get the demos that I've, that I've gotten. Um, we've done a couple of, couple of uh, demos with it. Um, people like it, people enjoy it, um, but I need to get more demos out because I need to well get more people playing with uh, with these figures. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, we have a buy me a coffee. So you if you like if you like videos like this, you know, and you if you've got. And you want to, you can buy me a coffee. At the very least, you can actually like and subscribe. But, don't forget to enjoy painting those figures. <laughs>